that time of year again, back to school time. So I have some tips and tricks and ideas on to save major money this school year, whether you're, you are shopping for students of your own, if you're going back to school or going back to work, these are some definitely some things that you can use to save a ton of money, especially right now where it's super hard, where everything is super, super high. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I've been working on this video for probably about three weeks. I wanted to get this put up end of July, early August. I know school is right around the corner for a lot of people. And like I said in the intro, whether you are shopping for your own kids, um, if you're trying to help out a needy family, if you're going back to school yourself or going back to work, whatever, or if you're just trying to save some money, this is going to be perfect for you. Um, I have a lot of examples. I have a lot of clips. So I'm excited. So very first thing I want to go into is back to school or clothes. There we go. Clothes in general. Clothes, I think, is one of the biggest expenses. We're not talking gas or carpooling, stuff like that. We're talking you spending money on clothes. I mean, I remember when I was younger, it was super expensive. And nowadays, it's even more expensive. So I do have some ideas and stuff for back to school clothes shopping. Um, so one of my first ones is go to your second hand store. As a kid, my mom was a single parent of four kids and I hated, absolutely hated having to get my school clothes at the second hand shop. As an adult, I feel differently now, but as a child, you want to be cool. You want to fit in with everyone else. And while everyone else is wearing like Volcom and um, all these like brands and stuff, I was stuck with grandma sweaters with big teddy bears and flowers on it. I hated it. So my first suggestion is let your kids or whoever you're shopping with or for, let them pick out a few items themselves. It gives them that sense of control. It will be like, oh, I actually got some input. Like it's me going back to school, whatever. So if you are shopping for children, take them with you. Um, let them pick out a few items. I know you can't let them pick out everything because they'll be picking out those short shorts and whatever. I, I get that, but let them go pick out a few items and then you can be the one that like, yep, sounds, looks awesome. That's great. You know what I mean? So yeah. Okay. I wanted to show you a few things I picked up today with Sean, um, and some prices and stuff, but, um, picked up this Bob Ross shirt for two bucks for him. So, so nice. Um, I do think if you do have boys or if you're shopping for a male, um, I think it's gonna be a little bit easier on you. Guys clothes doesn't really go out of fashion. You know what I mean? Uh, young ladies clothes, ladies clothes, they definitely do. But I thought this was awesome for two bucks. You know what I mean? Fact. Yeah, it was a dollar. And don't go bake in my heart. Um, I know I live in part of the country where things are probably a little bit less expensive. Um, things are high here too though, but, um, I know most places they do have secondhand shops and stuff. So definitely recommend going secondhand shopping. If you don't have a secondhand shop near you go to like Walmart. I took some clips of us shopping in Walmart. So here those are.
So yeah, Walmart has clearance on a lot of things. So you can get t-shirts and stuff for three, four dollars, even, uh, you know, some jackets and stuff. They definitely lower their prices when it's changing to a new season. So um, here already we're changing into fall. So they're going to be swapping out summer stuff for fall and winter stuff. Um, so great time to pick up t-shirts, tank tops for layering, stuff like that for super cheap. Another option that you do have is Facebook. Definitely have to tell you, I do recommend uh, meeting at a public place. Um, a lot of places will have like designated areas. You are always welcome to also go to your police department to exchange items or to buy items. Um, you know, it's just safer that way. So just recommending that. But you can also find some really affordable stuff on Facebook. There's even groups on there um, with free stuff. So like here in my area, we have a free classifieds page. So if people are getting rid of stuff, they'll put it on there first before taking it to our secondhand shop or throwing it away. So definitely recommend checking out Facebook. Definitely a great option for you, for sure. Okay, so clothes. Um, I've got one more suggestion, and that is, of course, hand-me-downs. Whether it is from your own kids, um, from a friend, um, if you're going into college or going back to work, you know, and you have family members or friends that are the same size of you, whatever, hand-me-downs are a great way to get super affordable, cheap, free clothes. Um, mending them yourselves. If you don't know how to mend, you know, I'm sure a family member of yours does. We also do that as well. Lots of hand-me-downs and also mending what you have, making sure it's clean, pressed, stuff like that. Um, it's always a great option as well. So, okay, so moving on to school supplies, school lunches, hygiene, makeup, stuff like that. Just the rest of it, I guess. Um, so one of my favorite places to go, I know you're going to be shocked at this. You're going to be totally surprised. Dollar Tree. Some items are not cheaper to buy at Dollar Tree. It isn't. Um, just because it's going to be a smaller amount. It's not going to be as many pa like single serve packaging packages in the one big box, stuff like that. So always make sure you're doing a little bit of, you know, research before you just like, oh yeah, that's a great deal at Dollar Tree. It might be, it might not be, you know what I mean? So I did, of course, go shopping at Dollar Tree. So uh, I have hygiene, beauty, um, back to school stuff to put in lunches, stuff like that. So let's look at that. So really good stuff at Dollar Tree in my opinion. Um, my Dollar Tree has been having a lot of name brand stuff, but even if you can't find name brand stuff, I still have suggestions for you um, for sure. So let's just go ahead and get straight into it. Um, I think if you have to buy stuff at Dollar Tree and there's not name brands available, this is still a name brand. I prefer VO5 and Suave over White Rain. White Rain isn't bad, but if you're going with shampoo and conditioner, um, definitely recommend VO5 or Suave. I just feel like it's a little bit higher quality, doesn't dry my hair out as much. Um, as you saw in the video clips, um, they have like big, like, it's like 25% extra. Um, so they're fit way bigger bottles than the regular, um, 15 fluid ounce ones. VO5 is really, really good. Like I said, I really, really like, um, Suave as well. So if they don't have name brand shampoo and conditioner there, which sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, VO5 and Suave is my go-to, my suggestion for sure. 
body wash. Um, you know, if you've watched any of my Dollar Tree Gold videos, they've been having name brand body wash. But sometimes they don't. This is still technically name brand Suave. I think Suave body washes are great. They smell really, really good. They're not super drying like White Rain. Once again, I like White Rain, but I do prefer Suave. Um, Suave is really, really good. You can also buy bar soap there. They had like twin bars of Irish Spring, Lever 2000. Um, they have uh, single bars of Dove, Olay, stuff like that. So um, if you are not a body wash person, definitely recommend checking out their bar soap section. They have name brands there um, and they're pretty affordable. Oh, um, Dove has gotten super expensive here. So it's, it is actually cheaper for me to buy a single bar at Dollar Tree than it is to buy a large pack. Um, they have Caress single bars there as well, which, you know, Caress is my go-to, so. Um, they also have clothes there from time to time. I'm talking t-shirts, socks, stuff like that. This is a little Dollar Tree bag I got here. Um, they have, I picked up a pair of the BMA three pairs of socks. They have also have them in white. Um, they have little kid socks there, adult socks, but these ones are really good quality. I actually bought two packs and I like them a lot. They are thick, they are cushy, they're great. Um, I, of course, found name brand there, uh, the 16 ounce Pantene conditioner for color treated hair for $1.25, picked up that. And then you did see some feminine hygiene products there. That's one of the plate things where I think you can do better at a regular store just because you're not going to get as much. But I do really like these ones. These are some Security Light Days Gentle on Skin, No Harsh Ingredients, 16 liners um, for $1.25. It's worth picking up, so I do like these a ton there. Um, but yeah, if you are shopping for feminine hygiene products for yourself or for someone else, um, you know, unless you're just really, really short on cash, definitely going to be a better deal if you go to a box store and get a larger container of products. So, yeah. Um, of course, Dollar Tree also has, you guys know this, um, they have really, really cute accessories, cute hair accessories. So if you're shopping for a little girl, um, whatever, you know, this is a great place to get some cute hair accessories without breaking the bank. Really, really cute. Um, yeah, like, these are Goody brand. And sorry, these are other haul, these are other shopping trips. I didn't buy all this at one time. Um, so yeah, hair accessories, Dollar Tree. I mean, I, I think that's just a great, great place to go. I mean, yeah. So that way you're not spending our arm on a leg. But once again, you know, if you can't afford to get brand new stuff, clothes wise, getting a few cute hair accessories for your kid or whatever can go a long way about making them excited for school starting. So, um, right here I also have, um, I think I've already showed these, but they have great things of toothpaste and toothbrushes there. So that's where I buy mine personally. I do like buying my toothbrush and toothpaste there just cause you know, they're way cheaper. So I like getting my stuff there. Okay, so before we um, end this video, cause I got one more thing to talk about. Um, we're going to be going ahead and doing a rapid fire, super affordable makeup. Most of it is not over $5. So, um, not a full face. So the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, this stuff is really good. Like it a lot. Definitely good, uh, for medium coverage. The L'Oreal True Match, um, super blendable foundation. Super, super good. And once again, super affordable. Um, any of the Wet n Wild highlighters, whether it's the split pans, or just the individuals. These are great. Um, more bang for your buck. Um, the e.l.f. Bite Size Face Duos blush and highlighter. Really, really good. Three or four dollars, depending on where you purchase it. Um, absolutely love the Essence Matte Bronzing Powder. It comes in a few different shades. It's matte. It's great. can be used for eyeshadow as well. It's wonderful. The e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. It's awesome. Definitely love that. The Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer is around three or four dollars. Won't break the bank, but good coverage. Um, the Elf Bite Size Shadow Quads or the Wet n Wild Color Icon Five Pan Palettes are great. Super affordable, good quality, good staying power. Like it. And then of course, any of the um, Ioni lashes. These are at Dollar Tree. If you are shopping for a teenager for yourself, whatever. 
Um, these are great, handmade, vegan, reusable. They're great, love them. One of my favorite lashes, so love them. Speaking of Dollar Tree, LA Colors has not come a long way with their makeup. Love their eyeshadows, love their blushes. There's really good highlighters there. Highlighters there as well. Really, really good stuff. Definitely, definitely recommend it. Okay, that was quick rapid fire. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is just some miscellaneous stuff. Um, if your kids take the school bus, that's awesome. It's not going to really cost you anything. If your kids don't take a school bus, definitely recommend getting into a carpool pool, if you know what I mean. Um, that way it will help save gas. Um, and so if you have to drive your kids there every time, you know, it, you can take turns. Um, if you are going to college, uh, if you're getting a new job, definitely recommend carpooling as well. You can pitch in a little bit of money or whatever for gas. Public transportation is a great way to save money. A lot of people do take public transportation and it's a great way to save money. And depending on how safe your public transport is, you know, definitely think about that. Another thing as someone that grew up on the free lunch program, don't be ashamed to apply for assistance. Um, a lot of families are struggling right now. Maybe even you as an adult going to college and stuff, there's still programs out there that help you. Um, whether it's the free school lunch program, um, a local food bank, there's ways out there to help you. Um, take advantage of those. You know, I know a lot of people need help right now, but don't let yourself suffer, you know, for no, for no need. You might be declined. That's fine. There's no hurt in applying for these programs. That's what they're there for. So that's what your taxes go for a lot of times, city, state, federal, county taxes. That's what a lot of times they go for, go, go towards. So don't be ashamed in applying for those. So those are some just tips and tricks I had for back to school. I know it's a really, really stressful time for people. Um, whether you have one kid, five kids, if you're just going back to school yourself, going back to college, going back to starting a new job, it's stressful. These were just some tips and tricks and ideas to help maybe save you a little bit of money, take the stress off, all that jazz. But I hope you did enjoy today's video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I'd love to know what are some of your tips and tricks for saving money, for back to school time, starting a new job, stuff like that. Let me know down below. And of course, you are welcome to follow me on my social media. I have Facebook and Instagram, and it is at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.